The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for Daniel Haggerty, and also for Eduardo Perez Arias. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that, with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, while Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out to sea, he directed his servant who went up and looked, but reported, there is nothing. Seven times he said, go, look again. And the seventh time the youth reported, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea. Elijah said, go and say to Ahab, harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind, and a heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel. But the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab as far as the approaches to Jezreel. The word of the Lord. 
It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. It is right to praise you in Zion. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's watercourses are filled. You have prepared the grain. It is right to praise you in Zion. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. I to praise you in Zion, O God. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. Right to praise you in Zion. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I give you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees. You will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge. and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid 
the last penny. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, the Holy Spirit is with us now, it seems, as it should be. Today, we celebrate Saint Anthony of Padua. There's one story that I want to share with you about Saint Anthony, which is a really fascinating story. St. Anthony's book was stolen by someone in his order, a novice. He had decided to leave and he was going to steal his book. And so St. Anthony prayed about that and continued in prayer until what happened is the book came back along with that person. It's really interesting to think about because today in our society, we have many people who are thieves, many things that get stolen. And even for myself last fall, I experienced a robbery where a thief broke into my car, they smashed the window and they stole my backpack that had my laptop in it and other things. I was out to dinner at a restaurant with a friend and having a good time and when I came back to my car, I was shocked to see this had happened. And it really had an impact on me. And naturally, our tendency is to be upset and angry and wonder why this would happen and to have that ongoing resentment. And so I had to write a report for the theft at the police station and, and file that. And I also prayed during that time and was hopeful that maybe those things would come back and that the person who had stolen those things <coughs> you know, would, uh, would be reconciled, that they would stop doing what they were doing. And so I prayed for that person. And we do need to do that. We need to pray for those who do wrong. God will continue to work as we trust in him. So after my backpack was stolen, I flew back here to Boston and the police called me and told me that they had found my things. But not the laptop, unfortunately. But everything else in my backpack was returned except the laptop. And still I continued to pray for that person who stole my laptop. It's just like St. Anthony. You know, I can understand what it means to pray for someone who has done wrong against me as he prayed for that person who had stolen his book. We need to pray for people that they will receive eternal life, which is the goal. We know that Jesus said we need to forgive others 77 times seven. And that is a clear message. We can't ignore, we can't excuse ourselves from that. Jesus gives us a teachable moment to help us to live our lives well with humility. And it is a worthwhile way to live. And he showed a good example for all of his brothers and sisters. Happy St. Anthony of Padua Day.
Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that migrants fleeing from war or hunger forced to undertake journeys full of danger and violence find welcome and new opportunities in the countries that receive them. We pray to the Lord. For Cardinal Sean, our Archbishop, and all the bishops, that they may exercise their ministry with supernatural courage and fidelity. We pray to the Lord. For our political leaders, that they heed the calling to, of God to build a culture of life beginning with natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For all of us who hunger for meaning and purpose in our daily lives, that our needs will be satisfied by turning to Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. For the soldiers on active duty and the first responders, that they persevere in faith with courage, hope, and strength, nourished by Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. For those being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, that they be strengthened by the hope of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For world peace, especially conflicts in the Middle East and in Russia, Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. And for our beloved who have gone before us, May they find a new home in the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Today we remember Daniel Haggerty and Eduardo Perez Arias. We pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing all the prayers that we offer you. We ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Sean Patrick O'Malley, our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from me deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>